as we've been reporting, this year's salmon fishing season will be closed in California due to an historically low number of fish. Scientists say the drought is to blame since salmon are on a three year life cycle. We're now seeing the impact of those drought years. NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. shows us how the efforts being made in this wet year will mean a bright future. With all the rain pummeling California this winter, it's hard to picture this. Scenes from a not so long ago California scorched and clenched in historic drought. These were the conditions three years ago when young salmon smolts made their way through the state's parched rivers out to the ocean. It's no wonder too few survived to make the return trip home this year, leading to just the second closure of the salmon fishing season in history. The fish that are returning this coming fall, we're experiencing you know, some of the you know, worst drought years that we've had. Here at the Feather River Fish Hatchery near Oroville, nature is getting a helping hand. Millions of fall and spring run Chinook salmon hatched from eggs spend their first six months in these raceways. On this day, thousands of them will begin their long journey. Right now we're loading fish into the, the hatchery transport trailers to be released later uh, this morning. The staff will, will crowd these fish down towards the end of the pond and use a, a fish pump to pump them up and into the truck. This load of 360,000 fish consists of spring run Chinook salmon listed as threatened. Other days will include releases of fall run salmon, the backbone of the fishing industry. They are going to be trucked down to Boyd's pump and released. Throughout history, as the state built dams, cutting off the fish access to miles of upper rivers, hatcheries like this became more vital. They compensate for the lost natural spawning habitat um, that happened when we built, you know, these dams on California's major rivers. But even hatchery fish struggled during the drought when rivers flowed with low, warm water. Which is why this wet winter is raising hopes for those who raise fish. So the rivers right now, they, they're, they're cold, there's a lot of flow, there's a lot of really good turbidity. Looks clear. At Boyd's Landing in Yuba City, the truckload of salmon is turned loose into the Feather River. They look pretty good, they're not freaking out too much. The fish prefer the cold flowing water. The turbidity on the fast moving river helps hide them from predators on their journey. It makes a really big difference and we see a lot better survival for these fish when we have a lot of water coming through our rivers. Each fish has its fin clipped for identification and is fitted with a wire tag. Scientists will be able to track their success in three years when these fish return from the ocean. So that um, provides important insight into the health of the species, their population, river health, ocean health. The expectation is these salmon will fare better than those returning from a lifetime of drought. The gift of water on this flowing freeway of life. Joe Rosado Jr. On to round two. NBC Bay Area News.